Which of the following conditions is most likely associated with its patient's presentation? PCOS, ovarian torsion, endometrioma, fecal lutein cyst, or ovarian cancer? 28-year-old pregnant woman at 16 weeks gestation presents with pelvic pain and abdominal distension. Ultrasound re reveals bilateral multilocular ovarian cysts, and her serum beta HCG level is significantly elevated, and her pregnancy has been otherwise unremarkable. Which of the following conditions is most likely associated with this patient's presentation? Um, just because of the fact that it says bilateral multilocular um, ovarian cysts, I'm going to go with polycystic ovarian syndrome. Um, it would have made me feel better if they included a BMI, because it's usually among people who have a, are slightly obese. Um, I don't believe it's endometrioma, just because of the fact that it's um, that's with pain um, during uh, menstruation. And so I don't believe that. I don't believe it's cancer, um, and I don't believe it's ovarian torsion because that's unilateral. I don't have really any reason to, I don't really have anything to knock out the gluten cysts because it's kind of escaping my mind, but I'm going to stick with this. Okay, perfect. Okay, you worked through your five steps pretty good. So um, I think with the information, <laughs> okay, let's talk about this a little bit, okay? Um, so... BCG, pregnancy, insulin cysts, the cysts are most common type of ovarian cysts in pregnancy and are associated with high level of ABC with such as multiple gestation, molar pregnancy, and use of ACG for uh, fertilization treatments. Um, so PCOS, you do have a lot of polycystic cysts, right? Um, but it's not related to pregnancy. So this is kind of one of the interesting things, okay? Um, I would always say, right, when you're working through a question like this, right? Um, in my mind, I have to look at risk factors, correct? Mm -hmm. So in my mind, I'm thinking, okay, they're giving me a 28 year old pregnant woman, she's 16 weeks gestation, right? She has abdominal pain, uh, abdominal distension, and then ultrasound shows these cysts on her ovaries, right? Beta CGs elevated, which you can, you know, associate with pregnancy, right? And her pregnancy, otherwise unremarkable, um, which of the following conditions are likely associated. So you have to pick a di uh, disease process that's associated with pregnancy. That's got to be kind of my main right. um, yeah. main thing here, right? So PCOS, like you said, right? It does fit on a ultrasound finding, right? But like you said, you know, um, not really for the most part, right? They're not going to really mention pregnancy in PCOS You're patients. Right. They're going to mention, like you said, the the uh, BMI. But besides BMI, what else? What else is in PCOS? Um, is it infertility? I know that. So yeah, they couldn't get pregnant. Okay. Um. So yeah, I mean, pregnancy is going to be difficult, oh, right? They yes. can get pregnant, but like you said, that's good, right? You're, they're going to have Absolutely. irregular menstruations, right? Yes, um, irregular menstruation, infertility, um, yep. obesity. Yep. Um, so increased risk for what, what kind of disease process that deals with obesity? Oh, uh, I'm not sure. So diabetes type two, right? Oh yeah. Diabetes. So they're going to be insulin resistant. So I'm, I'm just giving you all these little, little things clinically for PCOS. Cause they can ask you any of this, right? Um, so hertuism, right. You can get with PCOS. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, also on top of that, right. Like you said, irregular menzies, right. Um, obesity, increased risk for diabetes, right. All these things that you want to think about. Okay. So then, you know, you have this theca, uh, theca ludian cyst. Okay. Okay. So benign things, right. Usually kind of can be in pregnancy. Okay. Um, it's usually in molar pregnancies, but you can't have it in, in pregnancy in general, right? But when I see kind of a cyst, right, right, in your mind, you have to think of it as benign. So when I'm working through this, I'm like, oh, she's pregnant. She has a bunch of cysts on her ovaries, probably deal with kind of hormonal imbalances, things like that during pregnancies. So, um, you know, that's what I'm thinking. It's a benign ideology that's probably mm -hmm. associated with pregnancy. So on a test taking standpoint, this is pr pretty isolated. So you try to pick a cyst, if that makes sense. Okay, that makes sense. What are the questions you have on this? Hopefully that, you know, ovarian torsion, like you already said, that's more acute, right? Acute pain, um, unilateral, unilateral, usually, right? Not bilateral, right? Um, and blood flow is going to be cut off to the ovary. Endometrioma is a usually a single, single tumor, right? Um, you have some type of like um, symptoms where not symptoms, but like a like physical exam where you'd feel an, you know, or like an enlarged um, yep. uterus. 
And yep. so that wasn't brought up here. I didn't think cancer at all from this. Yep. And so I didn't make that connection, I guess. I kind of made the connection of like, okay, it's not cancer, but I didn't also tell myself, well, that means it's benign, you know? And yeah. so that also makes more sense. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. So I, I think you worked through this pretty good. I'm just giving you a little bit of pointers of PCOS and things like that, of course. Okay.